Back to the phone lines. We'll talk next to Lisa. She's listening in Billings, Montana on the web. Hi, Lisa. Hi. I was calling about demon possession, and if you think there is any hope for somebody that is fully demon-possessed? Well, absolutely. The truth of the matter is we are either under the control of the Holy Spirit, which is to say that the Holy Spirit lives within us, or we are under the control of the prince of this world, as he is called in Scripture, and to varying degrees. And so someone who is very much under the control of Satan, given their faculties over in many, many different ways, both physically and metaphysically, the only hope is Jesus Christ. But Jesus has restored the most incredibly removed people, people so removed from the principles of his kingdom, yet he has restored them such that when you look at them, you see genuine miracles, people restored by the love and grace of God. So yes, those who are in the clutches of the evil one can come into the full company of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay, would that be the same as a reprobate mind, though? Well, remember, the reprobate mind is a mind that is progressively turning itself against the principles of the kingdom. But as long as you are alive, you can still turn to the goodness and grace of God. The Holy Spirit wooing you, you can respond to that wooing. And I have seen people that, quite frankly, from a personal standpoint, I thought were, well, they were hopeless. There was no chance. I could not see a silver lining or a possibility that their lives would ever be transformed or changed. But I was short-sighted. And I saw the power of the Holy Spirit transform those people, not just in terms of their own personal lives, but transform them so that they could become transformational agents in the lives of other people as well.